best goes to eat up at all. You may ever do a walk to the Grand Adams International Airport, which is Barbados' only port of entry by air. So I'm walking towards the airport, walking up in the southerly, southeasterly, easterly direction towards the airport. Again, I'm in the parish of Christ Church, which is the southernmost parish on the island. So I think we're going on to the airport. Yeah, we're coming from the south coast of the island. And this is the ABC Highway, which is the modern route to the airport. Yes. So this was the original road to the airport prior to the ABC Highway. The ABC Highway is the modern route to the airport now. City um, the generators for the barbers, they don't power. And back down towards Overly. But the ABC Highway now is the fastest way to get to the air, to the Granley Adams International Airport. More so than having to use the South Coast. The South Coast Road is much backed up with traffic. But the, but the highway is much faster or you can use the back roads as well. There's a put to there much faster. So this can be referred to as the low road, the old road, or simply highway seven. So the Granley Adams Airport was originally the Sewell Airport first. You can see the ABC Highway, a bit, the, a bit of the highway behind here. So the ABC Highway was the plan of Tom Adams, who was Barbados' second Prime Minister. He wanted the highway to be built for motorists to have easy access to, indu to industrial estates across the island. And he started the highway in the mid-80s. And it was completed by 1989 but sadly tom adams did not live to see the highway completed tom adams died four years before the highway was completed tom adams died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1989 you can see the coverly china section of the highway where the highway begins So Tom Adams 
died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1989. So the highway starts from the Grand Ali Adams Airport in the south and will end at University of the West Indies at KFA campus which is to the west. This is a little access to the highway, mostly if you are walking. We can back down to Corvalley Road, that will be back down to Oystings and back to the south coast of the island. Years ago, all here used to be key on ground as well. You can see a bit of the highway. This is the highway here. The beginning of the highway. The first section of the highway. So the beginning of the highway, the highway, the beginning of the ABC highway is known as the Tom Adams Highway. Tom Adams was Barbados' first Prime Minister. And he was also a, the father of Sir Brantley Adams, who the airport is named after. The airport is named after his father, and the highway is named after his son. And you're on the boat, but the airport is named after Tom Adams as well. So Brantley Adams is the father of Tom Adams. And Brantley Adams was the Premier of the West Indies and Prime Minister. The Premier of Barbados and Prime Minister of the West Indies. Seawell Industrial Estate. Over here. So, no more coming. The ABC Highway. Um, Access road, the left turn, we can access to the you can access the ABC highway. We're making the left turn. So we back to the Charnock section of the highway and the right turn will take you back to Seawell Industrial Estate and back to where the old airport used to be. And straight ahead we will take you back to the airport. This is the access to the highway. This is the access road from the low road to the high to the top road. And this way to the Seawell Industrial Estate and back to where the old airport used to be. back towards the ABC Highway, which is the above section above here. So the bottom road is the low road, known as the old road, and the above road is the highway. So ABC stands for Adams, Barrow and Cummings. Adams is Tom Adams, who was Barbados' second Prime Minister. And the A is, A is for Adams, Tom Adams, Barbados' second Prime Minister, son of Brian Adams, and inventor of the ABC Highway. B is for Barrow, our Barrow, Barbados' first Prime Minister, father of independence, national hero, the one who gave us free education in Barbados, and the one who invented the Democratic Labour Party in 1955. And C is for Cummings, Sue Gordon Cummings, who was a doctor, member of parliament for St. Thomas, and he died long ago before the plan for the highway was conceived. Like a power substation, which is our only source of electricity here in Barbados. So this is the 
Bell Industrial Estate. Now, heading to where the old airport used to be. When it was the Seabell Airport, until it moved to its present location on the 6th of October, 1976. And it was renamed the Granny Adams Airport, Granny Adams International Airport. That is the same day that Tom Adams was, was, um, won the government and became the Prime Minister. Tom Adams was the Prime Minister for nine years, from 1976 to 1981. Uh, and then he resumed again from 1981 to 1985 when he died on the 11th of March 1985. That is when he died at the age of 53. So Tom, and that the same day that the airport was renamed and moved from this location, is the same day that the Cubana Airlines came down just off the west coast of Barbados in St. James and everyone died on board. Everyone on board the Cubana Airlines died when that plane came down on the west coast of Barbados. There is a monument along the west coast in a place called Payne's Bay, which is in the parish of St. James, in memory of those who lost their lives on that aircraft. Payne's Bay is on the west coast of Barbados in the parish of St. James. There's a monument there approaching Sandy Lane Hotel. On the left hand side, coming down on the way to Hall Town or Spikestown. You will come across the monument in memory of those who lost their lives during the Cubana airline crash. This is where the old airport used to be. Look at this. The wall is, you can even see your aircraft on the DHL aircraft on the tarmac. Towards the road now, the Granny Adams International Airport and the old airport when it was the Seabell Airport. There was a much smaller airport then than what it is now. We are now upcoming the St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church at Seawell in Christchurch. This is the church hall for St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church. Some taxis also parked here as well. We roll back to the old airport and back to the Seaway Industrial Estate. And this is St. Bartholomew's Church here. This was established in 1830. St. Bartholomew's Anglican Episcopal Church, situated on the outside of the airport exit. St. 
Bartholomew's Anglican Church. Anglican Episcopal Church was established in 1830. Yes, there is St. Bartholomew's Church, Anglican Church. Towards the airport now. This is the Kamali Adams International Airport. You can see the control tower for the airport and the DHL plane part of the tarmac again. So, our airport offers direct flights to destinations in the Eastern Caribbean, Central America, United States, United Kingdom, Europe. And Canada, or the control tower for the airport here. Control tower for the airport, and the old airport site, and the plane here parked on the tarmac, and the new saw gas station that was opened here. Around 2020, new saw gas station here. Watching with Tom Adams round the road. He's on the outside of the airport at the airport exit. That's how you looking back at the gas station. And the control tower for the airport. This is the Tom Adams on the boat, which commences the ABC Highway. So the ABC Highway only goes, continues from here, upward here, all the way down to the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. Tom Adams on the boat, named after Tom Adams, the Bob Benazir, second Prime Minister, and the one who invented the ABC Highway. So it starts from by the airport, so they named the airport section of the highway after him. 
section of the highway. Now reaching the Grand Adams International Airport. For those of you who don't know what our airport looks like, this is our airport, which is our only port of entry by air, Brantley Adams International Airport. Our only port of entry by air here in Barbados can be referred as BGI, GAIA, or simply the Brantley Adams International Airport. And this is Hope Field and Charnox Village on the opposite side. I will take you guys later on to, to see the runway for the airport. I'm, I'm looking to head down by the runway for the airport shortly. This is just behind here. Adams International Airport named after one of our national heroes, Sir Granny Herbert Adams, who was the Premier of Barbados, Prime Minister of the West Indies, and the founder of the Barbados Labour Party in 1938. And he was also the father of Tom Adams, who was Barbados' second Prime Minister. Yeah. So Bradley Adams was born in 1898 and died in 1971. Our airport has a lot of rules so you can't really go on the airport compound and film like that. So I will just show you guys from the outside. A whole field pasture, a Chapas Hill village in the background. Let's go to Bradley Adams International Airport. This airport underwent expansion and renovation several times before. Watts in 19... Watts in 1985, again in 2007, again in 2012, and then again in 2021. Bradley Adams International Airport. And you can see the white weather radar at Hawk Field in Christchurch.
Ali Adams, International Airport. Bus shelter here, which is sponsored by Sajikar Life Insurance Company. towards the airport entrance now. All our way up for here. You will see a plane flying now, taking off. Airport entrance now. So we are looking towards where the old gas station used to be for many years until 2020 when they moved it, when it was the Saul Skywatch gas station. This is on the boat for the airport entrance and the Concord experience where the Concord jet is now housed since it no longer operates. Since 2002, when the Concorde jet last flew, they hung it at the hangar, which is right next to the airport. And this is the Pugs Bar restaurant here. Straight ahead, now we'll be leading you back to the parish of St. Philip, which is to the east of the island. Into St. Philip with Gemswick, Mangrove, Rock Hall, where the spotters live, and back to St. Philip, back to um, Six Roads, and so on. So this is the roundabout for the airport entrance. You can see the Virgin Atlantic plane here. And this is the Grammy Adams International Airport. Barbados is only port of entry by air. So thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed Ronnie Adams, and Seaman for his church in Barbados. And the Concord experience right next door. Thank you guys for watching us and have a blessed